Worship me is the title. I respectfully ask you to please be patient, stick around, and listen to the complete video. Thank you. Okay, this video is about how you should worship the mad French composer Eric Satie, the Velvet Gentleman. Satie, not Satan. I'm just kidding. His music was on my mind and playing in my imagination today, though. Crimes of Imagination is the title of a poem of mine. Maybe I'll record a reading of that one. one, one <laughs> record, <laughs> if I can speak. Rec maybe I'll record a reading of that one someday. I think my, my uh, mouth is getting ahead of my mind or the other way around. Anyway, I'm not going to start over. I'm just going to leave my mistakes in here for all of you to enjoy. Anyway, moving forward, ever forward, he, uh, Terrence McKenna used to say that, and I suspect that he was an agent, but that's a, <laughs> that's a story for another time, and I'm sure people are starting to get sick of uh, the whole, he was an agent, or, you know, this one was a shill, or a fraud, or a, a felon, or this or that. I think people are starting to get tired of that, so I am, I am moving on, I am moving forward. Even though it was self-defense, uh, these people had slandered me and accused me of things, falsely accused me of being an agent and everything else, with zero evidence, I might add. I have a track record of uh, over 30 years of uh, truth-seeking and writing and sharing artwork, exposing things, and you name it. I've written and published a zine in the early internet days and on and on and on. Facebook, I was banned for life for sharing truth. I mean, I've got a long track record. So there you go. But anyway, uh, not too many agents are fine artists either. If, if you want to look into that, like CIA agents and stuff, a lot of them really don't have uh, a creative bone in their body. But needless to say, that's the way it is. So we're moving on here. Um, pushing forward. <laughs> There's not a lot of talk in our circles about morality and immorality. So my videos may come across as a bit unusual or out of place to some here. There's also not a lot of art and poetry and philosophy either mixed in with truth and our reality here. I'm fine with that, to be honest. I'm a lone wolf, a natural born outsider. I've never tried to fit in in my entire life and never cared about it. So at this point, you might be thinking, is he autistic or on the spectrum or something? And I'm, I'm not making fun of those people. I have some close loved ones, some including children that I love very much that are on the spectrum. But, you know, INFPs like me generally live in our own inner world. We are the dreamers or known as the dreamers. We imagine and we create and we realize we're different. We're aware of it. And we love our differences, for the most part. We love difference in general. Sameness and conformity and groupthink and attacks on individuality are torturous things to us. Now, some of you might be thinking, what do you mean torturous things? Like it causes you physical pain or something? Yes, it does sometimes. It really does. It, it physically hurts at times to be in this realm without without being hit or stabbed, it can physically hurt, okay? I want to emphasize that. And I understand I'm not the only one that goes through that, you know? And it is that way. And it makes us sick, the sameness and conformity and the group think. Like, I mean, people might think I'm an extremist or extreme about this, and you might just be like, shrug your shoulders and, you know, not even a care in the world and doesn't bother you at all it really gets to certain people with certain personality types. And if you look into the 16 personality types, I think it's Myers-Briggs, based on Carl Jung's work. You could just type in, uh, you could just search for 16 personality types and take a free personality type test. It'll determine quickly. You could take it multiple times if you don't trust it, or multiple tests from different websites. And they are very accurate. So... Um, that's what the INFP, it's a personality type of an introvert. 
I might come across here as a little bit extroverted or silly or whatever, but believe me, people drain me, and that's what an introvert is. I, I, my alone time is what recharges me, gives me energy to be alone to my own thoughts, my own imagination, my own creations. So that's what it is. It doesn't mean I'm antisocial or... <laughs> That's not what an introvert is. The, the commonplace view of introverts is completely wrong in mainstream cult, culture. C-U-L-T hyphen U-R-E. It's a cult. It's a cult of groupthink and sheep and following. So anyway, um, INFPs can be outsiders and outcasts a lot of times and artists, artistic, creative people that feel very deeply. Uh, anyway, I'm sure, I'm sure the title of this video is on your mind and you're wondering about it and you're thinking, why is this dude rambling on for like six minutes and he's not even talking about the freaking title of the video? Some of you have, may have commented already. I'm not just wasting your time, but some of you may have commented already just due to the title alone without watching or listening. I wanted to see who exactly on my channel would do that. I don't like people who assume they know without listening. Don't comment on my videos if you haven't watched them. I don't appreciate that. Don't be critical of my poems or essays or books that I plan to publish one day. Not quite finished them yet. If you've never read them or bashed my paintings, if you haven't bothered to look at them, that's slave behavior. That's bottom of the pyramid. I want better from you. I want excellence from you. <laughs> INFPs are also known as the idealists. And it's true. We want, we seek things to be idealistic. We're too, we're too idealistic often. And uh, that's also, that can also be painful, you know, to be in a, wor a realm like this and be idealistic. I mean, just think about it. You know what I'm saying? So... The title, Worship Me, is quite a powerful title, isn't it? Do I mean me? No, of course not. I'm speaking about the, quote, God that many worship. Is asking people to worship him or requiring people to worship him and accept all that they've done a moral thing to do? Is it right or wrong? Does it seem righteous or holy or just? Even if your God were a beautiful and kind being and never created any suffering or diseases, I would not worship it. Make that clear. It wouldn't be right to worship it. And it isn't right for it to, for it to demand to be worshipped. That alone, just that, aside from all the suffering and evil here, shows what kind of entity that so-called, quote, God is. Anything that demands to be worshipped does not deserve to be worshipped. It really is that simple. I'm sure there will be comments calling me arrogant and narcissistic and saying I'm evil and saying things like I knew it. He, wanted, he wants us to worship him and be a cult leader. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't help it how ridiculous people are. And I mean, it's, it's, I used to just keep saying it's just a few, it's more than a few, okay? I'm trying to be honest, but it's not everyone and I still don't believe it's the majority, but it is quite a few that are that ridiculous that really would, they, they would probably watch my iGuru series of videos and think those were serious. There's some really humorless people on the internet. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I can assure you that, well, maybe I shouldn't even just give it away. Maybe it's a secret, but you know, me putting a hospital blanket over my head with the stripes on it, looking almost like Mother Teresa and doing comedy sketches, that's not serious. I'm, I'm not actually starting a, a, a sex death cult, you know? Um, please calm down, people. Like, get a little bit of a sense of humor. <laughs> so... Um, Making assumptions and jumping to false conclusions could be a full-time job for many truthers. They're playing that game at an expert level. 
So this particular video was multi-purpose to sort out those ones who already have paranoia and suspicion running their minds, basically ruling over them, lording over them, in control of them. And, and I'm saying this for your benefit. If I were you, I would get that in check because it's not healthy and it's just going to mislead you in all different directions in life. And it's not just with me. You know, you're going to jump to conclusions about all kinds of other people. You're going to see one thing, you know, you see them wearing something and you immediately think, oh, they're Illuminati or they're this or that. And it's like, you know, dude, calm down or, or, or lady, you know, guy or lady. I mean, it's just incredible the, <laughs> the, the level of uh, suspicion and how quickly people jump to false conclusions in this community. It really is incredible. <laughs> And it's laughable. It always gets me laughing. It's sometimes uncontrollably because it, it's just so far off. They're not even close. You know, they're trying to hit, take a rock and throw it and hit a barn. And uh, they go to they go to take their big swing of a uh, wind up swing like a baseball pitcher swing of the rock, and the rock just drops behind them. They they can't hit a fucking barn with a rock. They're they're not even close. But anyway. Um, and to show, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I can't help it. I'm just picturing how far off these people are when they think they're right on target. And it's just so laughable, it really is. And to show that worship would be wrong, even if their God were completely different from this cruel sadist that created evil and created suffering. It shows that whatever it is, it isn't a God, a quote God, or divine, or good, or benevolent. It's a bloody monster. Okay? And that's why my voice does get serious because I start thinking about and I don't believe in your God, but you but a lot of people right here do. And they believe something is good that has committed complete atrocities. Like you're saying that it created this realm of evil, and you're saying it's good, and to me that is it's a bloody monster, and it's uh, it's 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 not it's creating it's it's helping to mind control and create a majority of immoral people. And this is not funny. This is sad to say, but most people on this earth are part of Team Evil, and uh, because they're defending evil, they're supporting it. You know, there are some moral beings here that make every attempt not to be evil, not to do harm, not to follow along with evil and support it, you know, and say that evil's good. Once you're doing that, you're way off track, you know, and that's a very serious thing. It really is. Once you're saying that, that murder is not immoral, you're way off track. And there are, quote, truthers with their own channels and I won't rant about them being felons or go into detail, but, you know, you've seen some of the videos that I posted. And, there's, and the reason is to show it, to prove that I'm not just saying this stuff. It's on video, okay? They have said it, that murder's not immoral and stuff like that. Like, I mean, what more can I say? That's the level that, that a lot of people are at. And it's not just him. I won't even mention his name this time because I don't want to get sidetracked here. But, you know, they have over 700 people following their channel. And I'm not saying that everyone that follows that channel is in agreement or everyone that follows any channel that's like that is in complete agreement with every word they say. I'm not, I'm not a dummy, okay? I know that you can watch a, a YouTube channel and glean some things and get some gold here and some uh, grizzle there, some bones there or... Even splinters, you know, you can get splinters from some of these freaking, you can probably get uh, STDs from some of these freaking YouTube channels. I mean, they're that bad and sick and perverted, but you know, I won't go on a rant about that either. I'm, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to stay on track for once, but my mind sometimes uh, is in a mood to go all over the place. But regardless, they're, they're immoral and they're pushing immorality onto their viewers. And I'm not saying that everyone... Uh, is just, you know, with their head floating in the breeze and just agrees with everything that's being said and taught on these channels. But let's face it, let's be real here. Let's be honest. There are some very vulnerable, impressionable, 
people in this quote community and on YouTube in general, but it includes, you know, the truthers. And a lot of them are more of a follower type than an independent minded leader type or lone wolf. I always call myself a lone wolf rather than a leader or an independent. That's what I always go to is a lone wolf. I am, or I say, I am my own being, which I am. I'm not a follower. But let's face it, there's a lot in this quote community that are followers that do fall for that, that do get influenced the longer they listen. When they listen to hours and hours, it's not just they hear something once, but they've been following some of these channels for years. For years. And that has an impact mentally and spiritually too. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It really does. And it can become brainwashing. And I know it's not my role. It's not my job. It's not my role to save everyone. And I can't, even if I wanted to. Not only wanted to, if I de devoted the rest of my life to trying to help them, I couldn't do it. One person can't do it. I could make videos every day. I could, I could work myself to the bone trying to save them. And I couldn't do it. No one can. But I'm just saying, be careful. Be careful out there. Please use discernment. It's not me joking at all. Like anybody can be a little bit vulnerable to it. You, know, you may not be as vulnerable as the most impressionable and the most gullible, naive, you know, the most open to everything and giving everybody the benefit of the doubt, you know, regardless of their crimes and everything else, their history. Um, there's some very vulnerable people on here and I do as someone that's not nearly that way or nearly as much and I don't want to say that they're weak or I'm stronger just I'm not as vulnerable to being brainwashed or following because I'm not a follower I look at cults and cult followers that's fascinating to me for the reason being that I'm not like that at all at all. Like, I'm not susceptible. I'm not prone to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm not a cult follower. I'm more of a, a, a reclusive type that I could just be on my own and, and write. And, and you know, maybe I'll learn how to play piano or, piano or make music or write music and paint. And, and I'm into all that stuff. I'm into doing my own thing. I'm not a follower. You know, I'm my own being. I'm not going to be following a line behind anyone. I'm the type of person that during the scamdemic, people were yelling at me in stores because they were all masked up, all of them. I'd be the only pl person in the place not wearing a mask on my face. You know, I'm like that. I'm, I'm a rebellious, do my own thing, free spirit. You could, you could call me a free spirit if you don't like the, the whole lone wolf thing or whatever. Uh, whatever your preference is. Okay, carrying on here. The uh, God is a demiurge, it's a bloody monster, and it's most likely one of the creatures that the dark occultist uh, controllers here worship. One and the same. Identical, as you know who would say. And I'm not going to say much more because there's been people on my, not just because of this, but there's been, there was one guy, not people, one guy, one guy from that channel that came over here that said my channel was derivative of the identical, oh boy, oh boy guy, you know, just because I, you know, kind of jokingly say some of his catchphrases and buzzwords and, you know, his movie quotes, his movie line quotes, like the identical one that he uses and stuff. And, you know, don't worry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to steal his not milk thing as, as brilliant as some people think that is, you know, Clinton backwards, I'm not going to take that from him, you know. It's all his. It's all his. You know? But, um... Watch my other video that I uploaded earlier, though, with the... It's not mocking that guy and his drawings, but the one drawing that it... You know, there is something in there that's reminiscent of, uh... <laughs> of Humpty Dumpty, let's just say. So at least some religious truthers have that in common with your earth, earthly rulers... You're worshiping, you're worshiping and praying to the same beast, the same quote God. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, 
And thanks for listening. And I was going to end it there and say good night, but postscript. Don't worship me and don't follow me or follow anyone else. Think for yourself. Be your own being. There are no higher authorities or spiritual authorities or gods or spirit guides or, you know, spirit councils or above you. If, <laughs> if you're a true good spirit and not a demon. And I think that's a huge deception when people fall into thinking there's like a spiritual hierarchy with these, oh, these spirit beings are higher than us. They're above us. and They're the authorities. That is a good way to get tricked and trapped because you're just going to play the follow the leader game again. If you see what I'm saying? Don't play the follow the leader game. Think for yourself. Be your own being. You know? Did I say don't follow me in there? I believe I did. Yeah, I did. Don't worship. I'll say it again, though, just for emphasis. Don't worship me and don't follow me or follow anyone else. And you know what? That advice would keep you safer than, uh, than almost anything else when you really think about it. It really would. And I'm not tooting my own horn, but that is solid advice that I, th I, do, think, I do think you should you know, think about that. Think about that advice. Think about not following in general, not just the channels that I've been talking about, just in general, in life, here in this realm and in the afterlife, in the realms beyond this, when we pass away one day, one day and our spirit leaves this meat suit avatar, you know, this prison cell or full of prison cells, you know, the body cells, prison cells. Huh, anyway, um, that's what I think. And uh, that's what the title was about. I didn't want to reveal it right away. It wasn't really a trick or clickbait. I did say what I thought, but I did kind of want to ramble on a little bit, I admit. I did want to kind of ramble on a little bit at the beginning, just to filter out the ones that really don't watch my videos, but they comment. And that's the part that's annoying. You know, they might watch, they might read the title and comment and not even click play. I swear that happens sometimes. I upload a video and they're commenting without even playing it. And then there's other people that might watch one minute or two minutes out of a 20 minute or 40 minute long video. It's insulting because you're commenting, you're giving your quote view on something that you, you didn't even listen to it. So why are you arguing? Like, wh you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's slave think. That's bottom of the pyramid. I want excellence from you. I don't want that. I don't want that bottom of the pyramid shit. I want excellence. And I'm not joking. I might be laughing, but uh, you know, chuckling about the slave thing. But when I say I want excellence, that's as sincere as I can get. That really is what I want from everyone, not just on my channel. I want that from everyone. I want excellence. I want you to think for yourself. And I want you to think about what I've said here, to think about it deeply, and to actually pay attention when you're, when you're watching. Like, that honors me, if you know what I'm saying. It respects me and honors me. Just like if, uh, if you encountered one of my paintings in an art gallery or museum and you actually paused to look at it and you just didn't walk right by and give it like a, you know, a half second, not even a half second, like a, a hundred millisecond glance and you're just, you know, speed walking past it. And then you say, oh yeah, I saw, I saw that painting of, uh, of his, I saw his painting. Really? Did you really see it? If you're honest, did you really see it? And with my videos, did you really hear me? Did you really hear me expressing my thoughts and digest it and make an intelligent response in the comments? Or did you just like listen to like 30 seconds of a 20 minute video and think you have it all figured out and respond and you're just way off. You're not even close. And it's just like, what the hell, you know, uh, please don't do that. Please don't do that. I want excellence. 
And when I talk about respect, people think I'm insulting them. Just, but, I mean, it's just like, I don't know what it is, but these days it seems like there's a whole lot of people that, uh, that are that way. And I can't help them. You know, it's not me being shrugging my shoulders and being apathetic. I just, honestly, I can't help them. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I don't know how. I don't know how. They're so different from me. If you, <laughs> I'm not boasting, but if you've ever seen, if you could watch me watching, like if there was a camera on me when I'm watching something that's interesting or listening to it, and uh, I could give an example, some of the videos on, and I'll give a shout out, the channel Notes for Materiality, you know, I pay full attention. Ronan's Journey, another channel. These are small channels. You know, they're not 80,000 subscribers or 150,000, whatever, you know, I'm not going to name these channels anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to, you know, give them that, you could say. I'm not even going to say the names. Fuck them. But um, there's a reason that they get that many subscribers, believe me. There's a reason why YouTube promotes them and, and they gain so many. They're 150,000, 250,000. There's a reason for that. All right, I'm not going to go into it, but um, if I'm listening, to, <laughs> back to my point, if I'm listening to uh, a video from Notes or Materiality, I, it has my full attention. And that's not me kissing up to them. It's just being truthful and honest. I pay attention. And I'm not doing other shit while I'm listening. I'm just listening and thinking about it. And there's been certain videos on that particular channel, and I've mentioned this before in, in another video here, that there's been certain videos on his channel that I have listened to or watched, the ones that have video, uh, like the Hobbit one or the, the uh, video that he did on uh, I did, did not consent. And he didn't, he sa he's saying that he never consented to this. I agree wholeheartedly. But they're deep thoughts. There's something that deserves attention. Is not just attention to praise, but focus is what I mean. That type of attention. Mental focus, mental attention. They deserve that, if you see what I'm saying. So to respect what he created and, and put out there in the public for us to hear, I give it my due attention. You see what I'm saying? You know, I practice what I preach. So I'm really not being this arrogant ass that's saying hey just pay attention no uh, like there, there's this one there's this one uh video of jim morrison from the doors in concert in the 1960s and the crowd was you know some in the front row were being assholes or whatever being drunken assholes and just you know obnoxious and crass and yelling and getting loud and disturbing everyone around them and ruining the, the experiments or the experience for other people ruining the concert for other people around them and Jim just kind of paused the show and said, hey, shh, shh, hey, shh. S give the singer some, man. Give the singer some. He's saying, like, quiet. is that any way to behave at a rock concert? <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious, but it was true at the same time. I mean, you just, and in this case, you're not disturbing anyone else because you're probably listening to these videos on your own. And I don't want to go into a whole rant about this, but if somebody is saying something that's, at least semi-intelligent, and I'll give myself that much credit here. I think what I'm putting out there is at least semi-intelligent most of the time, most of these videos, I would say. If not better than that, please give it a little bit of mental focus. By attention, I don't mean someone that's craving attention. I mean your mental attention Please do that. If you find value in what I'm saying here, what I'm creating and sharing here, that's the least you can do. That's all I'm asking. And, and I'm not a hypocrite. I do that myself when I'm on channels that I enjoy watching and listening. As I, as I was saying, I've watched some of those videos three times at least, if not more, in the last, I don't know, five, six months. I'll return to them when I think of it and I'll watch it again all the way through, not just 30 seconds or a minute, the whole video, whether it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 
I'll watch it again and uh, digest it again. And, there, and I'll do that with artwork too. I'll do that with artwork. I'll do that with all sorts of things that you can't just gather up all of the meaning just in an instant. It, ju it just doesn't work. At least my mind doesn't work that way. Maybe yours does. Maybe you can put this video on at uh, double speed and, and just watch the first 30 seconds and skip and just like, you got it all. Maybe you can. I can't do that. Maybe you have superpowers <laughs> that I don't have, but you know, I will, I will really try to focus on things. And I'll do that with sculptures in an art gallery, an art museum. I'll walk around the entire sculpture. And uh, I love when I have the whole place, the whole floor, sometimes to myself in an afternoon and just spend a whole hour there and there's no one around bothering me there's no one making noise and you know disturbing me or ruining my experience and I just get I'm just immersed in it if you know what I'm saying just like putting on headphones and you're just being immersed in the music and you're just it's like you're somewhere else you know it's almost like astral travel in a way it's just it's incredible, but that's the way I'll get. And I'll just walk around, slowly walk around a sculpture and examine it, look at it, and just take it in the whole piece from every angle. And I, I, I'm not really the type to nitpick, which is what some people do. They'll, they'll nitpick one word out of a, a video that I do that's 30 minutes long, and they'll just write a comment about one word. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. One word. They'll pick out one word that I said in the video and they'll nitpick on that in their comment and just say that, oh, well, and then if I pry it out of them, they'll say, they'll admit, oh, I did enjoy the rest or I agree with the rest. It's like, they don't even mention that part. They'll just write three paragraphs nitpicking on one word that I said. You know, I'm not wired that way. I can't really relate to that because that's the polar opposite. It, I've never been like that. And, I, and if I was, I would try not to be that way with artwork, with someone's ideas, when they speak for half an hour and you just pick out one word? Are you, like, are you serious about that? Is, that? is that a new way of trolling or, or what is that? But, you know, I don't do that. I don't tend to do that. I won't look at a painting. I'm talking about an, an enormous size painting. It could be 12 feet wide in an art gallery and I won't look for one color that's, that's the size of two pixels of a, of a laptop screen, just a tiny little speck of a color and say, I don't like that color. And meanwhile, there's 12 feet wide of a painting in front of me that's just enormous with all kinds of things happening in it, all kinds of detail, colors, motions, uh, whatever it is. It could be abstract. It could be a surrealist piece. It could be whatever, but just pick out one little dot, one little color in the corner and just say, I don't like that color, and focus and fixate on that. That's what some people do. Or with a sculpture and just say, I don't like this part of it. People are looking, like, it's, it's like I would look at you like you're mental. I'd be like, I'm seeing the whole thing, man. I'm, feel, I'm feeling the whole thing. Like, come on, man. Do I have to do the whole corn pop thing again? Come on, man. You know, take in the whole piece. Give the singer some, man. <laughs> I don't know if people, some people are capable of even being able to do that. It's not a put down. That's me being truthful. I really don't know if some people are even capable, even capable, have the capacity to take in the whole piece, whether it's me speaking or a painting or a song or a sculpture, or they're at a concert and they just, they're just nitpicking at, at, at one word in a fucking song and they've been there for like an hour and a half listening to awesome music being played. Like, what's wrong with those people? You know, are you going to be fixated on a, on a seagull that's sitting on a, on a post and you're missing the whole concert? You're, you're not even hearing the music? You know? Come on, man. Get a little focus. Give the singer some. Anyway, I'm not going to... I can't even... That's, that's a terrible... It's not me doing an impression of Jim Morrison. It doesn't sound anything like him. It sounds more like you know, Biden or someone, but I don't know. But uh, I, I just found that hilarious when Jim Morrison would just stop the whole concert just to point out a few fucking idiots <laughs> in the front row or, or whatever. And he just, and just like, you know, 
calling out their obnoxious, stupid behavior. So I'm not, oh, wait, wait a second. I know people are going to get off track. I'm not comparing myself to Jim Morrison. I'm not saying I'm a rock star. I mean, some people do say I'm a rock star artist, you know, rock star painter and rock star artist and, and stuff like that and, and do compliment me, but I'm not making a comparison to Jim, you know, but Jim was a, an INFP or what people, you could say, diagnose his personality type is after he's deceased. And, uh, Jim and William Blake, the poet, said to have been an INFP as well. And uh, Tolkien is another one that they say. INFPs love to create characters and do characters and, and sometimes be silly, but be creative with creating these different characters. And, uh, you know, you could say I'm schizophrenic for doing that. You could, I mean, I laugh at those comments. I just laugh at the, at the uh, people that think they're so clever but um, say I'm schizophrenic or you could say hey, he's mentally has multiple per he, he does these voices or characters or his multiple personality he's talking to his El Diablo painting and <laughs> I mean, you know I'll create a YouTube channel and uh, he has one already but he has an account El Diablo but I'll create a channel and put up content that's just made by El Diablo how about that I'll do that if I want to <laughs> you know what I mean like I, do, I don't take myself too seriously I'll invent more characters if I want to, you know, spontaneously, if I feel inspired. And that's what happens. That's what happened with the I Guru character with the hospital blanket over my head. I came up with that one night at like three or four o'clock in the morning and just turned on my phone camera and just decided to do that. Just to make, just came into my mind and did that. Now, if I did that all the time, when an idea enters my mind, it might be a problem because there's a lot of crazy ideas that enter my mind like that in the course of a day or a week. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't be doing anything else. I wouldn't even be, I would be <laughs> so into that. I wouldn't be cooking meals and eating and stuff. I'd just be, <laughs> I'd just be uh, obsessive to that point with creating these characters. But I do have a lot of ideas. And uh, of course, obviously that means I'm schizophrenic. I'd have to be right? Flight of ideas, just like that guy's brother that commented and called me schizophrenic on one of my videos, because I talked about how many ideas I have that are just rushing through my mind. Does that mean I'm not normal? You know, come on, man, give the singer some. Does that mean, does that mean I'm not normal? I don't want to be normal. I'm glad I'm not normal. I've never tried to be normal. I've never wanted to be. I've never wanted to fit in with the whole crowd and be popular, you know. I looked upon the, the crowd or the popular crowd of kids in high school almost as, as a, a group to almost be pitied in a way because they couldn't be themselves, you know. They were lacking. They, they weren't, uh, I know they, 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 people like that that are popular ten, have a tendency to think they're at the top of the hierarchy or the top of the pyramid, but, you know, a lot of times when you think about it, those people, they peak in high school. You know, that's their glory days, their glory years. And by the time they're 30 or 40, they're, they're talking about their high school days like it was just the best time of their life and it never got better. They wish they could go back there because they were, you know, they were a cheerleader or on the football team or, you know, and it's all downhill from there, man. Come on, man, it's all downhill. But it's the opposite, I think, for a lot of thinkers and creative-minded spirits or beings that, you know, we might be the outcasts or the nerds or the geeks or, you know, the freaks freaks and geeks <laughs> and the outcasts and stuff in high school and uh, might not have the most girlfriends. You might go through an awkward-looking stage you know, where you're small or awkward looking or thin or, you know, too tall or skinny or whatever the case may be. And you kind of grow into your frame and put on some weight if you're a dude or, you know, um, might be a late bloomer, which I was. I mean, it sounds funny. You can, you can make fun of that. I really don't care, to be honest. But uh, I was a late bloomer. So uh, I was one of the smallest kids entering high school in, in, in that entire grade ninth grade um so yeah i mean 
That's the way it is, but I'm a freaking giant now. I mean, I'm massive and just uh, intimidating and just just a force to be reckoned with. Reckoned with. I'm just a, you know, a wrecking ball, a, compl- uh, a complete, uh, as they call it in the, in the fitness uh, community, a unit, just, you know, someone you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley. Come on, man. Give the singer some. Anyway, I'm going to end this now before I get... I've already been silly, but before I get so fucking silly and crazy and over the top and... Uh, you already think I'm crazy, don't you? You you already think that I'm just completely mad and, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a matter of... <laughs> I can't go on with that anymore, but I'm, I'm going to call it good night and say uh, good night, my beautifully mad ones. Whoever is mad here and loves their madness and embraces their madness, which is completely a part of creativity, of having a creative mind, embrace it. Don't let society put you down or make you think that there's something wrong with you. You know? Don't even attempt to conform to this sick society. Don't even attempt it. Why would you want to? You know, be your own being. Be your own being. You know, I am my own guru. You know, when you think about it, literally. If you watch those comedy videos, those short videos. Anyway, good night, everyone. Good night, my beautifully mad ones. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you got something out of it. And uh, it went quite a bit longer than what I thought it was going to go. And I'm going to get away from calling out the you-know-whats in this community and try to direct my focus more on uh, my thoughts on a lot of different topics mixed in with some comedy and some silliness. And that just naturally comes out of me. And it's going to continue to come out of me even if people don't like that silly side of me. That's part of me, as much, as much of a part of me as my poetry, my paintings, my, my creative works. And my uh, more sin- uh, <laughs> my more sincere, serious, intellectual side, the silliness is is just as much part of my being, I would say. So, good night, everyone, and uh, have a great night. Thanks for listening. Bye.